not sure if you can see behind me, but um, that's Atlantis. We're going across the front of it here. Did you guys know, did you know that the Bahamas is the wealthiest country in the Caribbean? And it's third richest in the Western Hemisphere. United States and Canada being number one and two. Now they say the average income here is $21,000 a year. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, like, that may be true because most, most of Bahamas' inc economy is right here, right behind me in Nassau. The country is based on tourism. We got cruise ships coming in. You know, for sure, Nassau is the uh, economical hub of the Bahamas. But to be ranked number three, that that's that's pretty uh, amazing. Uh, I think I got a fish on the line. Look at that rod. I've got something on there. I don't know if it's sargassian grass or a fish, but I'm gonna go check it out. I don't know. What is it? Or did it get no, off? It's sargassian grass. Oh. Ha, ha. See? Yeah. This is what I've been catching. Okay. That there was just some uh, sargassian grass that got caught up in my line. And uh, I may have some more again right now. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, anyways, back to what we were talking about the economy here at $22,000 a year, that seems pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how they figure out the wealth and whatnot of the country, and but it might have something to do with the billionaires that live here, that reside here, for tax reasons, of course. But you know, you got guys like Joe Lewis that live, you know, they reside here. You know, the man's worth $5 billion. And, 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 you know, probably you got the Aga Khan. Uh, I don't know if he, you know, he's got a place here, but I, I don't know if he, that's his home. But, uh, you know, there are a lot of billionaires that probably reside here permanently.